Hello everyone, myself Anjana, student of Sri Vaishnava Vidya Pedishu Vidyalaya. I am here to present a video on handwriting analysis. So, what is handwriting? Handwriting is an action of forming letters and words on a page by using writing instruments such as pen or pencil. When you are writing something down in your school, you may notice that your handwriting is different from your friends because your handwriting is unique and special. Handwriting analysis based on these unique characteristics. Now let's move on to handwriting analysis. In the world of forensic science, handwriting analysis is fit with question document. Here are some ways that scientists can tell the difference between handwriting from different people. A question document expert examines handwriting characteristics such as pen pressure, slant, space, skill, alignment, size, etc. to come to a conclusion regarding the authorship of the handwriting. Let's learn in details about some handwriting characteristics and handwriting analysis. Here first I explain about class characteristics of the handwriting. First is sizing. Uh, sizing is the evaluation of size of letters. It may vary according to the circumstances in which it is written. Sizing of your writing can be large, medium or small. Here we can see two examples for sizing. Here it is a, a large size handwriting and this is small size handwriting. Next is space. Space refers to the amount of space between letters, word and lines. The spacing between your letters and words can be evenly, widely, narrowly or unevenly spaced. Here you can see that the space between uh, these two words are wide and uneven and here the space between two words are evenly and narrow. Next characteristics is alignment. Alignment is arrangement of letters according to the baseline. Baseline is the imaginary or actual lines on which writing sits. Some writers stay on the line and some stay above the line and some goes below it. This is an example for uh, alignment stay on the line and this is an example for alignment stay above the line and this is an example for alignment stay below the line. Next is slant. Slant is an inclination of the axis of letters related to the perpendicular to the baseline of the writer. Some people handwriting slants to the left or backward and some people slants to the right or forward and some people doesn't slant at all which means it is straight or vertical. Uh, this is an example for a vertical or straight, uh, straight and this is an example for left slant or backward and this is for right and or forward slant. Other than class characteristics, uh, there is individual characteristics also that are connecting strokes, embellishments, diacritic placement, pressure, etc. First one is connecting strokes. Uh, these strokes join the letters in words. Mostly connecting strokes are seen in uh, running letters. Here we can see uh, each small letters are connecting to the following letters. Next is embellishment. Embellishments are extra strokes or designs added to letters to improve their appearance. These uh, flourishes are curved or wavy lines added to the beginning or the ending of letters. Uh, these are some examples for embellishment. Next one is pressure. Pressure is an amount of weight that the person put on purpose. Some people have very light pressure which can result shaky or faint writing. Uh, this is an example for light pressure writing. On the other hand, some people struggle with putting too much pressure on the page when concentrating on writing and this is an example for uh, high pressure writing. Uh, in high pressure writing, uh, the ink deposition is more than low pressure writing. The last one is diacritic placement. It is the way the author process their T's and dots, their J's and I's. It is different from person to person. Some crosses on the T at top and middle or bottom and uh, they dot to the I on the left, center or the right. Also for J on the left, center on the right. Here we have a sample with the criminal sand rating that he left at the crime scene. So uh, this is suspect 
uh, one, two, and three handwriting. We can eliminate a uh, suspect one handwriting from the list because uh, they are in cursive letters. Uh, sus uh, criminal's handwriting not in uh, cursive letter. Next uh, suspect two. Uh, we can see that the W, I, and L is different from the criminal's uh, W, I, and L. So this uh, it is not suspect two. Coming to suspect three. Looking at all characteristics we talked about, we can see that they are all the same and they match between both. So it can conclude that these two samples are do match and suspect 3 is the criminal. While investigating and comparing each of the categories, the analyzers uh, also need to consider some factors that can result in changes to a person's handwriting. That is age, mood, health, the writing surface and the writing instrument used, drink and drugs and trying to write difficulty.